I told, I told the doctor that truth. And he said, you know, maybe you should consider walking away. My name is Jordan Spector. I'm an artist from Philadelphia. I'm a creator and a storyteller. So growing up, both art and sports always mesh together in one way or another. I got recruited in football, smaller schools, Division II, Division III. Some of those had scholarships involved or partial coverage for school. But again, I just, I didn't want to go to a small school like that. I just wanted to go to Temple. And then once I got to Temple, I, I quickly started to miss football. Going into my first year and 10 years without playing football, it was like, man, this is rough, you know? They used to have walk-on tryouts. You show up, you run a 40-yard dash, you run routes, you show what you can do. So I spent about six, seven months shredding my body and, and training the most I ever had in my life. Then came the time to do the tryout, and I, I crushed it. And then within two days, I got an email, congratulations, you know, you're, you're on the team. After going through a full season and then going into the next year, the next season uh, in a practice that I got another concussion. When I got that concussion, I was kind of reminded like, oh wow, this is part of the game too. You know, I got, I got a little afraid. I was honest with the doctor at that time on the team that I had got, I had had three or four in high school. And he said, you know, maybe you should consider walking away. You should consider your brain health and your future and is it worth it? I spent about two weeks just an emotional mess trying to figure out, you know, what, what do I want to do? Do I want to walk away or keep fighting through it? and be at risk for more concussions. You know, after those two weeks, I decided, I made the decision that I'm not gonna play anymore. Um, and I walked away. So naturally, a uh, short time after that, I started to do art again, just to kind of fill that void. Part of my story I always love to tell as well is a, a good friend of mine from high school's mother, who's an artist, she had sent me one random day. She said, you know, Jordan, never waste your talents. And that day, I still remember, like something just clicked for me. Like, you know, you're right. You know, I, I gotta start creating again. I gotta start making artwork again. So I, I went back to just for fun, drawing, sketching, whatever, whatever I felt like. But naturally this time I gravitated towards football and sports and I, I think from that day I got more and more consistent and more and more jobs and more and more opportunities and it just kept growing and growing. It's what I love to do. It, it's just something that I get passionate about and that I, I felt like I was born to do is create and that God-given ability to do that, you know, all starting with my friend's mother saying, never waste your talent. You know, she was right. If you're good at something and you love it, keep doing it. And it might turn into something that you do for a living and that you become famous for, that you are able to leave a legacy for. And, and again, it's, it's a way for me to always channel my passion for the game of football. So I, I've always gravitated towards it ever since I stopped playing. My whole art career, I've always been open ears to opportunities. So when you guys hit me up, I was, I was excited. I was like, I love the idea, you know? I, I like the details and the packaging. It brings a whole new level of appreciation for the artwork. So I love that element to it as well. So you get to see all the little details and intricacies of, of the artwork. And the fact that you're doing these, I mean, 
you know, e even if an artist comes in and does one puzzle ever, they get they get this, they get to tell their story, they get from a professional. I think that that is special in itself. So I'm excited for it. I'm excited to see how, how it goes and how it grows.